Welcome to my unboxing of a fire truck. This is made by Arctic Hobby. You might notice the logo looks a little bit like Arctic Cooling. Get the ultimate riding experience with this fire truck. As you can plainly see, it's huge. Okay. And the package contents are fairly straightforward. So you get a fire truck, a remote control, some batteries, another more different battery, yet another more different battery, and finally, a charging cable. So, you can buy the fire truck online at NCIX. As always, and people seem to get really confused by this, but as always, I have listed the link to the product on NCIX um, in the description of the video. So people are always like, Linus, why don't you talk about the prices of the product in your videos? And I say, well, because the prices change and the video cannot be updated, but a link can be updated. So that is why I never talk about prices in my videos, but I do provide links to the products available for purchase at a particular price in the description. So, here we go. The fire truck features, and I don't want to miss any of this stuff, Okay, whoa. Features instructions, which tell us how to enable all of the different functionality of the truck. However, I will need a screwdriver in order to install the batteries and whatnot, so give me a couple seconds. I'm just gonna let you get a couple sort of glamour shots of the fire truck itself, and then I'll be back in just a moment. So the included items, we have an antenna for the remote. We've also got a nine volt battery for the remote. Three AA batteries for the um, bottom of the fire engine, okay? And then we've got this little charging cable adapter doodad that works with the Arctic Hobby charging station. Now you can also get these guys separately, which charge the cable or charge the battery pack directly. So that's six cells in there. That's a 7.2 volt, volt 800 milliamp hour battery pack. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put all these things aside for now. And don't worry, in this video we will be showing you guys all of the features of this fire truck, including coming right out of the packaging, just like that. Alright. Oh, very exciting. Hold on a second. I'm going to need to uh, take this off here. Get this remote out of here. Let's get this uh, styrofoam cleared out of the way here. So, uh, it's a bit of an ordeal installing all the batteries, so I'm going to do that off camera as well. But I do want to show you guys the basic layout of the fire engine first. The first thing you're going to want to do is take this receiving antenna right here and plug the straw into the hole down there so that it stands up. That is going to keep it from getting in the way of the ladder, which is pretty much the coolest ladder I've ever seen because it extends and lifts and rotates. Yes, it has all of the functionality of a fire engine ladder. So that is to say it comes up this way, it extends out this way, and it rotates around this way. Okay, now this fire nozzle, or fire nozzle, water nozzle, here at the end, remember you don't have to get that close, <laughs> here at the end, um, actually sprays water. So there's a reservoir right here that we can fill with water. And let's have, uh, here, we'll do a quick sort of overview of the fire engine itself. So here, I'm going to lift this up so we can have a good look. You can see these are rubber tires. Very, very nice. Good traction on those tires. Okay, we got our mirror right there with reflective shiny surface. Okay, we've got, uh, you know, chrome accents, including the fire hose nozzles, to which you actually can't hook anything up. I'm very disappointed about that, but you know how it is. Okay, we've also got these stabilizers, and these do serve a purpose. So you want to bring these out whenever you're going to take the ladder, extend it, and move it over to the side. So that's very important. Got another couple wheels here. Got an axe, just in case you need one of those. Moving around to the back. Check this out. You can pull things if you so want, so desire. Ooh. Okay, it's a little tight right now, but you know, you can use this little handle here to open it up and close it, retract it. There we go. So I'm just going to hook that back there where it was. Okay, coming around to the other side, we got another axe. Okay, we've got all of our, you know, hydraulics and whatnot. Another fire department logo, some more shiny stuff. And then you guys should check out the front of the fire engine. So, here we have our horn. By the way, it does have a realistic sounding horn honking. We have our side, our... Uh, our lights, okay, and it does have a siren that goes off when it moves. 
Here's our bumper, windshield wipers, realistic, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put the batteries in and we're gonna show you guys how this bad boy works in just a moment. So first I'm gonna show you guys all the advanced functionality of the Land Rider 503. So here you can see we can select either the ladder or the wheel, I mean I think they mean steering wheel, and we're gonna go with all of the ladder functions first. So, ladder up. You're going to want to go ahead and adjust that a little bit, otherwise that's definitely going to spill. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, support struts out of the side of the... Uh, that's okay, you'll, you'll see the other side when I take them out. There we go. Okay, there we go, so that we don't tip over the Land Rider 503. Then we're going to take our ladder and we're going to move it to a little bit to the right. Oh, whoops, okay. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and extend the ladder. Whoops. I pressed the wrong thing, sorry guys. Now I think Slick knows what's coming. <laughs> sorry. Okay, 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 okay. So we're going to fire the water. I'm going to show you guys the range here. So we may want to step back a little bit so that they can get us some, some a feel for the scope of uh, what we're doing here. Can you see it at all? So it definitely does fire water. Okay. So we're going to bring that ladder right back down. Whoops. Oh, look at that. You can do two things at once. Okay, we're going to bring that back down to rest right there. Okay, so we have secured the fire engine. Oh yeah, I haven't shown you guys the horn yet. Hold on, wait for it. Yeah, that won't get old fast when your kids are running around doing it. Okay, okay, but wait, but wait, but wait, but wait, hold on, it gets even better. Okay, so we're going to take the fire engine for a, uh, for a drive here. So we're going to switch over to wheel mode. 